Hello again, everybody. Zack and Jack is here with my number four pick of my top five current superstars who should at least win the Rumble once in their career. There's a cool little list of people who I think should at least win one Rumble. Now, my number five pick was Dolph Ziggler. And if you saw my wall review from last night, I kind of spoiled my number four pick for top five current superstars who should win the Rumble once in their career. My number four pick, Damian Sendai. I kind of spoiled that pick while I talking about his match against John Cena. Proving why he should be the Rumble winner at least once in his career. You know, he's, he's got great charisma, great talent. He's a great heel. And he got the money in the Bay briefcase, which led to nothing. That was the sad part. They had the money in the Bay briefcase, which I thought was going to really help him get the title. Which didn't happen. Because he cashed in on Cena the day after the night of chair, uh, Hell in a Cell and failed miserably. And Sandow finally got a rematch against Cena four months too late when Cena's no longer champion. Last night on Raw, in a decent match against Cena, proving why Sandow should at least win the number one. Because I think if Sandow wins the Rumble, it'll elevate his career more than winning money in the bank. Because like I said, he won money in the bank and he tried to cash it in, but he didn't win the title. So if he wins the Rumble, it could get him the title. That's what I'm hoping for. If he ends up winning the Rumble one day, and it could be a jump starter. Because the Rumble has jump started so many careers. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm making this list of superstars who I think would benefit if they were to win the Rumble at least once in their career. Especially Ziggler's down in the dumps and same with Sandow. Many people thought they, they got the big push, but now they're stuck in mid-card. May not be elevated to be the big star. But I hope that Sandow can get over this hump, especially losing two weeks to Craig Kali and losing against Cena last night on Raw. And hopefully can get back into winning ways. And who knows, maybe this could be his year for the Rumble. But I want Daniel Bryan to win, but at least one of the year, I don't care when, I think Sandow should be a winner of the Rumble at least once in his career. My number four pick for that. Uh, that is it for my number four pick of my Royal Rumble top five current superstars who should win the Rumble at least once in their career. Um, I may not make a video for a few days. Um, if you missed my tech sports yesterday, I'm going to Denver, Colorado this week. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going on a train, being on a train for two days. So I will not be able to make videos on Wednesday or the, on Wednesday. Maybe I'll do my number three. And number two picks on Thursday. So maybe I'll do that on Thursday. So since I cannot make my number three pick video tomorrow because I'll be on a train for 20 hours. So uh, there you go with that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you when I do see ya. Probably when I make a video. Probably in my hotel room in Denver, Colorado. Because my dad's going to do a seminar. And it just happens to be AFC Championship Weekend. So I'm going to be going down there with him where he goes to a seminar. Hanging out in downtown Denver. Hanging out with all the Broncos fans. Getting ready for the game against the Pats. Maybe you see some Pats fans too. I like both teams. But mostly cheering on Broncos because I'm in Denver. With that in mind, you've been attacked by this cat down from Zach. Thank you very much. See you all later when I do. Yeah.